The ocean is a cradle to innumerable formations of steel and iron. But among these, some of the largest man-made structures in the world are sea-based oil process platforms, complexes and oil wells. This is the story of the mammoth build of one such process platform known as D1 by the leader of the Indian oil industry, ONGC. 200 kilometers southwest of the Mumbai coast, D1 is spread over 255 square kilometers. Discovered in the year 1976, this marginal oil field was so isolated from the existing infrastructure at Mumbai High that it had to be developed on a standalone basis. The ONGC planning team then wrote the first chapter of the D1 story by conceptualizing a techno-economic scheme to build a platform with a facility to drill 12 wells. This was the glorious vision that was estimated to be realized at a cost of $62.3 million. This monumental installation was to be achieved with the help of an installation barge. With 240 persons on board, HLS 2000 smoothly sailed to the D1 location and its first job was to launch the jacket. The jacket is the foundation of most oil platforms. Constructed with heavy steel tubulars, the D1 jacket was a huge structure weighing 1,600 tons. To launch a jacket essentially means fitting it with airtight buoyancy tanks and then floating it on water. Spearheaded by ONGC, the precise movements of the multinational team successfully launched the jacket into the Arabian Sea. After launching, the jacket had to be brought to its exact location of operation by towing. This location was decided upon by a computerized GPS or Global Positioning System by fixing latitude and longitude coordinates for it. The jacket was then hooked onto a large crane. It had to be ensured that the jacket came to a vertical position in the water. And to do that, divers were sent in to puncture the buoyancy tanks. Once in position, the jacket was lowered down to the seabed at the desired location. job of the divers was not yet completed. They now had to undertake a bottom-of-the-ocean survey to make sure that the jacket was seated comfortably on the seabed. And it was. This was the complete operation of positioning and upending of D1 that took more than 24 grueling but rewarding hours. The next step of the D1 build was to install the deck. The deck is easily the heart of any oil platform as it contains the drilling and water injection facilities. The D1 jacket had to bear the load of the 900-ton deck and to enable the jacket's stability and capacity to bear this weight over it, the piling procedure was carried out. Six piles or steel tubular columns were designed to be piled onto a vertical penetration of 102 meters down the seabed. These had to be hammered down with steam and hydraulic hammers. With all the mechanized aid available, it was the human hand that would guide this process through successfully. With all its workers in place, the ONGC engineer